говорю, я зайду в магазин, попрошу картон с веревкой. Напишу сунская партизанка. In June this year, in a tiny village, 40 kilometers north of Petrosavodsk, the villagers realized that something was going on in the forest. It turned out that a company had started cutting trees for a road. Into the forest to get raw materials in the ground for construction. Ever since, volunteers have stayed in a camp to alarm authorities if the work continues. The forest is on a Russian governmental list of preservation because of a rare lichen and the remnants of a 10,000-year-old settlement. I saw it up for Anglisky. Uh, it's a uh, number, phone number for people who want to support. Uh, support. Support, yes. Who be a volunteer. But you say in the summer, some from the village saw that they cut the trees. Yes, and uh, uh, he back uh, to village for help. Uh, and uh, for one hour uh, when he uh, ran for village for help, uh, uh, this line was cutting for us. It's for, for, one, for one hour. But that's all the damage so far. Yes. There's been two court rulings. Now the villagers and the volunteers await an appeal at the High Court in Moscow. Пожалуйста. А? Пожалуйста. Чайку? Чай? Чай. Можно? Ти, да. да. Есть там вода вообще? Да. Замерзла. Замерзла. So you cook water on fire? This is the rare lichen that is on the Russian state preservation list. And that, and that. Mm -hmm. There is, is more huge. <laughs> During the summer, there were more people at the camp, but even during the winter, the volunteers and the villagers tried to have at least two persons during day and night to protect the forest. <laughs> 